with another video. Um, I'm making fried rice today. I made spring rolls in my last video and I had mentioned that um, I was gonna have fried rice for dinner with my spring rolls. So I got to thinking, maybe you all would like to see how I make that as well. Again, this is just, I make it from what I remember having in Singapore. I lived in Singapore as a kid. I think I was 10 years old when we moved there and 14 years old when we when we moved away. So um, my fried rice tonight, what I do, I chop up an onion in bite-sized pieces, not such a small dice, and garlic. Then I, um, tonight I'm gonna be adding chicken to that, but you can also use pork, ham, or again, it can be a vegetarian fried rice. After the chicken is, is cooked well, then I add shredded cabbage, peas and carrots, and I cook that until the cabbage is almost done. Then I will scramble three eggs and put those in. And then I am boiling rice, cooking rice. I boil two cups of rice to four cups of water and two teaspoons of salt. When the rice is done, I add that, mix it all up, and there's your fried rice. I will get busy cooking and let you guys see what I'm doing. Okay. So wash these up very quickly. So I'm gonna add my onions first. You can be stirring. Okay. And I don't have any fresh garlic, so once again, I'll be using garlic powder. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken now. And with that, I will add salt. I think I bumped my camera a little bit, sorry. <laughs> and pepper. And it's starting to stick. You have to keep the food moving in a walk. <clears throat> because it, it cooks so fast. Okay, I will stir fry this until the meat is pretty well done. Time to go ahead and add my cabbage because it has to cook down a bit. About two cups of shredded cabbage. Okay, as you can see, it's cooking down very nicely. I'm gonna let it cook just a little bit longer. And I'm also, in the midst of that, I am cooking my eggs. I'm fixing to <clears throat> scramble my eggs. Now, if I were gonna use fresh carrots and frozen peas, I would have already put them in so they could be cooking but I didn't have those, so I'm using a can of peas and carrots, and they're much softer in texture, so I will put them in last so they don't get all smashed and um, misshapen and, and all the stirring that I have to do. So 
um, they will go in as one of the last ingredients. Rice is done. Cooking my eggs as we speak. Off for a few minutes because I don't want these to keep cooking before my eggs are done and I get my rice in here. <clears throat> use an oven mitt. That pan looks hot. Something I usually find out the hard way. All right. The last ingredient for our fried rice is in. And I'm going to incorporate that all together. And then our dinner is ready. Hope you enjoyed this recipe share, and I hope that I get lots of comments and ideas from you as well. I will share this recipe in the description below. I hope you try it and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. I've really been enjoying the comments I've been receiving. It's nice to hear from you all.